Hello, this is Michael Kinsler here from Qtel Wholesale Limited with website QtelVOIPWholesale.com. Part two of our add a category and sub category franchise partners with uh, Marley's Wholesale. Now, uh, as you covered on part one, we went through on how to add a category and we put in, as far as I know, we put in Z. Now what I'm going to show you here today is, is how to add a subcategory on this. Okay, so basically we have Z there test down below and we can this will be the same for every one that you see. Even those two there. There's a there's a subcategory of a of a subcategory. So let's open this one up anyway though. <coughs> so now we're in the admin page as you know and we can just leave those boys up there they'll be quite happy up there on their own so now we've got test so we need, now we need to um, make another category so we can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to max this out on the SEO and show you what you should be putting in the likes of here now so we have uh, Qtel wholesale um, limited products etc etc okay so whatever you want to put in there the meta keywords you know about so we just put in a few more etc etc so that's basically about all your keywords and then down here in the meta title just put in um, whatever you want there etc and just keep building it up and building up whatever you want in there same for here as well you just keep building up what you see in Google is what you see here so you just build in uh, wholesale distributors uh, suppliers suppliers to the trade at trade prices etc etc you just write down a whole list of what you had in there so basically then when you go to change this then we're not going to add anything in here yet. Okay, that's that would be a different thing. So you just say the changes. So now we're going to add a new category, but this time it's not going to be a category, it's going to be a sub category. So we just add a new category back into that. Now this time we need to pull down the category which we're going to be using. So just scroll down. So we're going to put it in test. And this time we're going to call it why so we just call it why why and you remember you can put all your keywords in here now when you want to start line for this purposes I'm just gonna put in why 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 and why and just tick this box again so you can actually go in and then you can actually add a subcategory on the subcategory don't need to press anything here save the changes and what we do is we bring in the website no? and we refresh and basically you'll see then is you'll see the little Z see the way it was changed etc etc let's change that now so now we come down to the very bottom of the page and we notice that Z now has got a Y so we close that box and you can do this the same with all these ones here see the way I have a subcategory of that and that's how you do that. Not only that, but now we've got Y as a shortcut in the top. And this will do for for all the more. So if you go into whatever you want there, you can have subcategories, categories, and everything's work working. That's how basically work the subcategories. So I'm in it again. So now that's basically about it. Um, that's how to add your subcategory to your category. The next one I'll be showing you is um, how to add a product. But before that, I show you that I just manage the categories. Um, so you just go back into this here again. It just takes a while for the server to come up. So we just scroll into the bottom. And what we can do is go into X or Y. So we want to add a bit of writing on that. We're just going to test. <coughs> I 
I was going to show you this, and I never showed you this now. I sh what you do is then you go into edit HTML. Now you can just type in there, but you're better off edit HTML online. So click on that. You're better off not opening the two of these together, just one at a time. Now you can actually just open this here and you and then just click there. Now you've made it bigger. Now basically, as I said before, it's just a word. You can put in word. It also has some other features. This is where you upload your pictures and this is where you make your links. So basically I can write in um anything I want in here and then I can make that in the center. So I just highlight it, put it in the center, or I can uh, put it to the right hand side, back to this side again. I can make it bold, so to hide it, bold, I can change what it looks like, make it look like impact, and I can change the size of it. So I just change, highlight it there, and I can change the size. So that basically, that's is how you work um, when you're doing your writing. Also, you can, this is a HTML online, you click on that, and this will give you then what you have in here. This is the HTML tells me that I'm at size 6 and this is what I've been up with. so I can actually go in there and add to if I want to and then you just type in update and see the way it's updated so basically that that there is the most important between that 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 button there and these two little this insert an image you can also insert a video um, as well but the image would be the one you'd be mostly concerning with these buttons here until we get later on is bad but just to start off with this is what you've been needing and it's got the usual um, cut and copy and all this kind of stuff that's in it you know you can actually undo as well okay then this is Michael Kinsler from Qtel Wholesale Limited franchise partner with Marley's Wholesale and I'll see you on um, I'll see you then on part three how to upload a product thank you